everybody and welcome back to German Auto House. Uh, today we're working on a Ferrari 458. Beautiful car. German really loves it. Wants to do an upgrade on his exhaust. So we are doing upgrade to his exhaust. Replacing the stock with the new. And if you look at it, to me it looked like, huh, the pipes are a little smaller. But then realized that these are double pipes, I guess you call them, or uh, over coated pipes? No, it's not the coated. This is between they have like uh, special uh, so stuff like... Uh, this pipe is inside, there's another pipe, the inside, main pipe. Yeah. This pipe does not have it. So we're, we have to wrap it all. Yeah, like that, like, like that would be done. If you look in here, yeah, it's a down pipe. this one we did before. See how it's yeah. wrapped? Yeah. We'll have to do the same thing here to this one. Yeah, but this looks really Should good. be a fun like process. I think they bring more beautiful note and more sound and more I think probably a little bit more power. More pop up? No, not pop up, but this is different. This is see how it looks that header. It's a beautiful same. Beautiful bends, beautiful welds. It's a uh, great design. Yeah, this is from Klein Innovation. I we know. done few exhaust. You'll be able to see them. it. Yeah. Uh, probably can. Uh, Klein Innovation. Yeah, but it's not bad for this is first time you work on uh, headers for uh, 458 and this is really uh, I mean it's not that difficult we don't need to reassemble it a lot because just like see how it's got, uh, headers looks yeah we're yeah. really surprised yeah 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 just a fender liner belly pants bolt nut that one is another side and if you look on this side you'll see before it's taken off yeah that side is a little bit more difficult because they like the uh, AC compressor mm -hmm. I think it's take probably a little bit more time but it's okay and we already pull out the ECU for uh, uh, decut tune all right guys stay tuned yeah I really want to hear what's going on uh, <laughs> that sound and of course probably we want to do it a few pull on the dime to check how's the car how everything performs yeah. guys have a good day yeah we'll, oh. we'll get back to you yeah now we, we need to move uh, Huracan start work on the spark plugs Spark plugs, spark washer plugs, jets, yep. oh, and coming, this some happened, guys, see? Uh-oh. No, 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 this is, uh, for me, of course, Oracon, and this is really nice uh, panel, and this is reverse gear, see how it's, how you can shift to reverse, and of course, everybody like it, just a play, like, pam, 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 pam. It's a toy. Pam. Yeah, it's a toy, yeah. And from one of Oracon, inside that mechanism, is broken. <laughs> <laughs> when the customer try to shift to reverse, they have like a malfunction, gearbox malfunction. First time he's like, oh, oh my gearbox is down. We diagnose check, yeah, this problem with that, with that module. But only funny things. When he try to shift to reverse, it's just a flush gearbox malfunction and go away. And keep the one record about that the shifter, about that shifting fork or something, I don't know. Something broken. Okay, yeah, yeah, I will show you how to reassemble it, the center of console and how to do spark plugs replacement on Horoka. All right, guys, stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Hello, hello, guys. I said about that Horoka. Spark plugs we done. It's nothing difficult. It's probably around three, three and a half hour labor. Nothing crazy. Just simple. Uh, about the shifter. I mentioned about the shifter and when we shift to reverse gear it's a pop uh, malfunction and trouble code shows something wrong with that shifting module. Whew. We order it, we get the module but the problem is this car had a black glass that what we ordered is have a, a flat black and we can install it like this and we reassemble it to replace that that cover this cover for that uh, for pull out this cover it's need to reassemble whole things and when we start to assemble that module we found the problem the problem is i show you let me show you guys the problem is with the one broken wire that car has 50,000 miles on, on clock and see Mm, right here yeah and when uh, it's normally when you when you, normally this is just to have a 
uh, illumination orange one but when you shift to reverse they change the color to red and the one wires is broken and of course when the shift the system sees something wrong with the with the shifter and this is why it's pop malfunction anyway we already replace uh, everything is good we make sure and now it's time for jet cover let me show you oh Ilya what are you doing drinking tea, drinking tea. break time oh <laughs> we have a two we have a two this is for yeah this is for Huracan this, this one for Gallardo okay jet nozzle let's have a two bolt uh, after pull out that front grill let's have somebody glue it I don't know who did it maybe these people who rub this car they break that jet have a two bolt this is one and second one over there yeah just to pull out that grill and really gently Ilya Ilya can you can you help me please I will show you how to how to replace this washer it's gently Gently, gently, gently. Mm. This, oh, yeah, I catch this. Let's have a two pin. Come on. Oh, like this, two hook. And really you, gently. You have to spin it in order yeah, to get it yeah, off. Yeah, and really gently because it's really, really that one easy to break and that one this looks good and just to show you guys again see how the holes are oval you can't just pull it out sideways you have to twist it in order to mm -hmm. take it out yeah and that <laughs> somebody glued see oh nice but it's okay yeah no biggie this is brand new washer jet uh, I believe this is left and right is same because you can you can mm -hmm. Or it's a different part numbers are different. A different? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Prob just like okay now I wanna install it back, tie it to two bolt, and then again move that spray jet, right? Mm -hmm. Nozzle? Spray jet, nozzle, yeah, same thing. And, and then just like this put it back on position. And if and you turn. if you look right here, look how they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely need to spin it when you put them on. <laughs> Don't break it. No. Okay. Finally, we receive today con. It's not control arm. Them. Why you think it's control arm? Because they they call it a link suspension link. <laughs> Stupid things. But uh, this is engine mount. This is engine mount for McLaren. We have a vibration on this car, and we see how is. That engine mount is going down and have another problem what we fixed before. This is problem with that water pipe. Because engine is a little bit dropped down and it starts shaking and that water pipe shaking, shaking, shaking and start leaking. I think we make some video uh, over, over months ago. And then we replaced that pipe, but it's a problem still there. And we waiting for that parts from McLaren. It's a two engine mount. Uh, one engine mount is already in. This one, another one, new mount for the passenger side. What's going on? What's going on with this mount? First, this is new. This is old. If we move that little rubber, we see some. And you see that? That one, nothing. McLaren always, it's a good, it's a good powerful car, but some always problem with parts. With, I think it's not a problem with the McLaren, mostly problem with the supplier. Because always something leak. Coolant, hydraulic fluid, some oil, always something happens. See, the pump, this is water pump. Almost start leaking, that frozen plug, Almost started. It's 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 leaking slowly. Yeah, we ordered. It's time to replace, guys. Always, always. In other things, this is spoiler strut. This is spoiler, not strut. This is 
hydraulic uh, cylinder. One side is good, this side is good. Another side, it starts leaking. It's not long time ago, probably a month. We clean that, check again after two weeks, it's leaking. Always something leaking. I'm surprised the front is good. No any leaks from front. Waiting for that pump. It's headache. Only one good McLaren 570S. Because no any hydraulic suspension, no any adjustable wing. Just the engine. But yeah, it, it's much better than this. <laughs> Morning guys. <laughs> Yesterday something happens with that for a58 and happens when we are open last bolt from exhaust manifold and everybody know of course what happens it happens start is snap and break on half almost uh, almost start cry because this is really not good start and we little bit reassemble it, take out the power steering pump and you start drilling, 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 drilling. It's a super gently and finally we did it. That start, new start is already in, this is last start. And now back to this 458. Ilya start work with the LP550. Big, big, big time for brake replacement. 380 front and brand new rear. Also, brake flush and it's coming really soon clutch replacement for this car. That Narda gray is beautiful color. I don't know, this is my favorite color from Lamborghini. I know a few people, they love that color. Mm -hmm. Narda Gray. Oh, you can do exercise now at quarantine time. See? Take second one. <laughs> See? <laughs> this is... What size? 380? No, this is... 30.4 millimeters. No, it's a thicker. How thick is it? Uh, oh, no, 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 come on. It's not... This is minimum, yeah, 30.4. The thickness, I don't know right now. I oh, see, this is doesn't matter, mm -hmm. left or right. Yep. It's not any mark for left or right. Oh, you leave e-brake, caliper. Everything can stay. Nice. You press it yep. in, right? Yep, twist it in, don't press it in. Press it, twist it, but this is still... Where is the Lamborghini logo? No, this is Vida. Vidab in the house. How you like Vidab? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he on stage three GTR. Vidab. <laughs> well, little bit take the break and back to this yellow lady. So just so you guys remember, no, but this, these that, are the factory ones, yeah. and then we installed new ones and we wrapped them, uh, um, and after that we let it run for about what half an hour? Yeah, like 40 that, minutes. Yeah, because it's a lot of steam. It was steaming. <laughs> if somebody saw you on the highway, they would flip out. Oh no, out. <laughs> this is this is always happens when we, we swap the exhaust with the. No, no, uh, I know that. Protection. I'm just saying. But somebody. sometimes customers say, oh, 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 it's burned. 
Yeah, no worries. No worries. This is just a time. Of course, we many times we make sure everything is right, but it is for this before. I, I, I would like to remember before we we done uh, cutless downpipe and this uh, some custom I don't know no name muffler, mm -hmm. but this is with the silencer with the open valve system. And I'm gonna step back. I'm no, gonna... no, no, no worries. It's very glad. Wow. My ears hurt. Wow. I am pretty sure the microphone did not like that. Yeah. Well, that's it's a wrap. Done. It's done. The challenge is done. Next week. That one's done. Next week we got the quadruple timing. No, not no, timing. it's a clutch. Clutch that job. That's right. Coming for clutch. F1 transmission. They call in. Uh, Maserati called Dua Select. But this is same design than this Gallardo or Ferrari F430. It's time. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know. Ferrari can keep uh, like twenty thousand. That beautiful Lamborghini or Audi R8. It's uh, with the same design. Uh, I see car over 60,000 with the original clutch, but Maserati, 15,000. New clutch, 15,000, new clutch. And that job is really expensive, something around six to 8,000, depending on what shop, what shop rate, and what is appetite <laughs> from the technician. But anyway, uh, something around six to 8,000 with the parts, the uh, parts is included. Uh, There's 8,000 at the dealership. Yeah. Clutch kit, uh, the thrust bearing, sensor, fluid stuff, and flywheel. Flywheel, of course, because I don't know, guys. I I I would like not recommend it to uh, save money on a flywheel because this is already wear and uh, no, it's it's. Green if you're clutch. in there, might yeah, as well do it. Clutch way faster than new flywheel. Anyway. It is what it is. Sometimes people want to save money and they, they want to reservice flywheel. It's not bad, but it still will be shorter life for new part. See you next week. Today we also finished this one. Got new OEM brakes. Looks all pretty. All the way around front and back. That's all done. Brake flush, everything in the next week. This might be a little louder than this one. All right, you guys have a good weekend. Happy 4th. Take care.